Andries van Wessel, known as Andreas Vesalius, was born in 1514 in Brussels, which at that time was part of the Habsburg Netherlands. Due to his groundbreaking work in the study of human anatomy, he is widely regarded as the father of modern anatomy. Andreas Vesalius's family had a deep involvement in medicine. His great-grandfather taught medicine at the University of Leuven. His grandfather served as the royal physician to Emperor Maximilian, and his father worked as an apothecary for the emperor. Vesalius received his education in Leuven, Paris, and Padua, where he studied medicine and anatomy. He was greatly influenced by the teachings of Galen, a prominent ancient Greek physician from 3rd century, whose theories held a dominant position in the medical knowledge of Vesalius's era. However, when Vesalius found out that Galen's research was limited to animals because the Roman tradition prohibited the dissection of human bodies, he decided to write his own anatomical text based on his own research. In 1543, Vesalius published his groundbreaking work, De Humani Corporis Fabrica, on the fabric of the human body, commonly known as the fabrica. This monumental book presented a comprehensive and accurate account of human anatomy based on his own dissections and observations. It contained seven books with 273 detailed illustrations, likely created in the studio of the great Renaissance artist Titian. His meticulous research, detailed illustrations, and dedication to empirical observation revolutionized the field of anatomy and laid the groundwork for modern medicine. Vesalius's work challenged many of Galen's theories, which had been unquestioned for centuries. He pointed out numerous errors and inaccuracies in Galen's writings. One notable example was Galen's assertion that men had fewer ribs than women, a belief that Vesalius demonstrated to be incorrect through his own anatomical observations. Vesalius also proved that the human jawbone was made of one bone, not two, correcting another of Galen's misconceptions. Andreas Vesalius died on the Greek island of Zakynthos in 1564 after experiencing a shipwreck while returning from a pilgrimage to the Holy Land. His work remains a testament to the power of curiosity, meticulous observation, and the pursuit of scientific truth. His approach to dissection and his commitment to accuracy revolutionized medical education and paved the way for future advances in medicine and surgery. Thank you for watching. Don't hesitate to comment below and share this video with your friends. See you in my next video.